Welcome to the Peterborough Memorial Center, the lone matchup between the P Peterborough Peets and Starnia, Sarnia Sting in Peterborough this season. Things are going right for both of these teams. The Peterborough Peets, their power play is running hot. Over the past six games, they've got 11 of a possible 12 points. Power play running at a 21% success rate over that span. In the previous six games, the Peets only had two points. Power play, coincidentally, was running at an 8.3% success rate. So the Peets definitely need to keep things going on special teams tonight against the Sting if they want to be successful in the end score. The Sting, however, are one of the strongest defensive teams in the OHL. They have the third lowest goals against average as a team, just 2.6 goals against per game. Like you said, Peter, something's got to give. We got two teams here on winning streaks. Here's a chance for the Sting. Hit the post. Rebound. They score. They're on the board. Salini Tree. He picks up the low spot and buries it past Mancina. It's a 1 0 Sting lead. What happens on a bunch up at the blue line? I mean, Sarnia just cruises into the zone and broken play in low off the post, and nobody picks this young man up, and he picks up a big goal as Sarnia now takes the lead 1 0. Mancina has no chance on that play, and all it is is a couple missed. Missed pickups as they enter, and uh, like, look at that. Like, you know, you get two guys under the pass, wide open, and one defenseman, and usually ends up you got to go back to center. And Sarni uh, now takes the lead one nothing. So they're up by one. We're in the second half of regulation. Puck stolen. McCantrov with it, dishes it. Garland shoots, he scores. Hunter Garland ties it at one. What a great pass off by Nick Androff. He freezes everybody, and Garland has time to go right up over the shoulder of Fazio. And maybe a little bit of coaching there from Nick Androff, probably saying, if you're in tight, get it up on him. And uh, he beats some high blocker. Nice goal. Very nice indeed. And that breaks the shutout here with 905 to go in the second. The West Now Pharmacy replay. Hunter Garland goes upstairs. Here's a chance. Spencer back to the score. Tiblett. And that's going to be a long skate across for Zaka to his bench as the Peets make him pay on his third penalty. It's 2 1, Peterborough. What a nice play by Timlek. And talked earlier about Timlek earlier in his career. Him and Chikram played together for the junior Canadians in Toronto. Well, he's just put his team one up. On Jacob Chickham's team, but I mean Zaka, come on, like three penalties in a row. Like sooner or later. You saw Tim McWan in it. Tapping his stick right here to the right of your screen. Boom. Nice play. Great feed. Icing indicated here, but it's going to be waved off by the other linesman. And in to play it is Jonathan Ang back to the point. Cameron is on quick release. Loose block. They shoot. They score. Stephen Lorenz. Gives the pizza 3-1 lead. Lorenz picks up his 10th of the season, first of the game. And you know, there, there's an example of the D just getting the puck to the net. And Lorenz pays the price by hanging out there and a gift rebound from Fazio with no coverage. And He's not going to miss that. that. Not through the Hudson middle. Hudson on the steal. Ooh, oh, he kind of takes a run at DeNovo. And a penalty coming up. DeNovo's going to drop the gloves here with Hudson. He wasn't happy. He gets a shot in, but then he gets pinned. And DeNovo gets the pin as he yeah, rolls He over. rolls over and gets it, yep. He's like a little bulldog. But you got to go in, eh, when the helmets come off. They got to get in there, liability, but... Logan Denova, the Peterborough, Ontario native, will get the hot shower tonight. Good timing, I guess, in a way. 4.47 to go. He gets the five. <laughs> That's, you know. There'll be lots of hot water still. It's better than sitting in the box, I suppose, for 5.01 or something. Like, oh, there's the original penalty. Cerny gets the original. Logan figured out the license plate number of the truck that just kind of ran into him. He goes, gets okay. Gets a couple good shots in, too. Yeah. Spirited bout, although quick. Yeah. 37 to 30, the shots in favor of the Sting, but they trail by two with just under five to go. Oh, sneaking in, it's White. White goes in. White got spun in there and tried to jam it in again. No, it's waved off. No goal. Stinger gonna want another look at that, or at least a good explanation as why it's waved off here. Oh, and that came off. 
Well, that'd be a good reason. But they'll look at it. We'll have a discussion here. Because uh, extra time means more money for the babysitters. Well, no, all the kids are here, so there's nobody at home. Oh, I don't know about that one. Hmm. Unless he blew Maybe he blew the whistle. Yeah, that'd be. Could have blown it there thinking it was. It's right, not yeah. even in. No, you don't no, think so? No, I don't even think it's in. Buzzer but, goes. But, oh, here we go. Here we go. We got Machine involved here at the buzzer and Brown in there for the sting, but that will do it. Hockey game is over and the Peets continue their winning ways with a 3-1 victory over the Sarnia Sting. They spotted them one, but scored three unanswered. We'll wrap things up with your post-game show. Dan Malta coming up next. You're watching the OHL tonight on TV Kojiko.